Hey guys, this is Andy Chatfield from PTZ Optics. I am here today to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your 12X SDI Generation 2 camera. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go down to 12X STI Firmware G2. And we're going to op open up the upgrade program. This will find all of our PTZ Optics camera on the network by IP address. Um, I know for a fact, just because I just said it, I need to use 111.87 is the, is the 12X SDI G2 that I'm looking for. So the first thing I want to do is I want to right click and go to backup. And I'm going to back up this camera. Um, you don't do this to hold on to settings. When we do the firmware upgrade, we're going to erase all the settings of the camera. Um, it actually holds some specific information on one of the chips inside the camera, and we need to do that to ensure everything works correctly after the firmware upgrade. So we've gone ahead and set our IP address of the camera. We're good. I am going to go to upgrade. I'm going to change this to MTD. I'm going to query to make sure I have a connection to my camera. This is the current firmware. And I'm going to open this up. I'm in the 12X SDI firmware G2. This is my disk image file. Open. And I'm going to hit upgrade. This should shoot up 47% and then 85% really quickly. Um, it will then sit here for five minutes or so. You're going to see the camera reboot once. And then uh, it'll hit shoot up to 98%. You'll see the camera reboot again. At which point the program you're in, Upgrade V19, should tell you um, upgrade success. So do not disconnect your camera either by power or the Ethernet during one of these upgrades, or you can break the camera. It could make it completely use, un, unusable in the future. So make sure that you wait until the program says everything's successful to unhook your camera. So I will be back as soon as this is done. So my camera just rebooted for the first time. And my camera is now rebooting for the second time. So it should be just about finished up here.
All right, upgrade success. Fantastic. So now the first thing I want to do, now I have to go back and set it back to the IP address I had it set for. So that would be 111.87. Set. Good deal. Now I'm going to go to backup and I'm going to hit restore. Sorry, I, you have to wait for it to come back on live before you can restore it. So there it is. It's, it's back live. Now I'm going to restore it. The camera should reboot again. And there we go. My camera should be completely good to go at this point. So what I'm going to do is, the next thing you want to do is take your IR remote control and press star pound one while pointing at the camera. This will revert the on-screen display back to English because it would have reverted back to Chinese once you do the firmware upgrade. And I am just going to test this camera out real quick, make sure everything is good to go. There's seven. And there is my camera feed. So uh, I hope this has been helpful, guys. If you have any issues, please get in, in touch with us here at ptzoptics.com. And I will see you next time. Bye now.